One other very important factor that we should all understand is called Watte factor. Again, it comes from the book Automatic Millionaire by David Bach. What Latte Factor means is if you have a regular but unnecessary expenditure and you keep expending money on a regular basis over the years, the amount of money that you could have earned by saving and investing that money is actually astronomical because we're gonna calculate it with compound interest. If you don't know what compound interest is, watch my other video explaining that. But if you wanna know how to estimate your latte factor, um, find Google latte factor calculator and there's a lot of them out there, but one of them is for example on financialmentor.com. So I have it on my laptop open. And all it's asking you is to enter the dollar amount of any regular but unnecessary expenditure. So of course it comes, um, the term itself comes from Starbucks and uh, people having a habit of let's say buying a cup of you know, latte and maybe a bagel or something every morning. It's just some comforting thing that we get to do. But you know, it is different for everybody. For some people it's actually cigarettes, uh, for some people it's alcohol, for some people it's just eating out. Uh, for me, it would probably be eating out. Um, I do like that. And we need to know how much money are we spending. Let's say if you're spending $20 a day on eating out, which some people do, let's say you have lunch and dinner or breakfast and lunch, because you work hard and you're away from home, so you just kind of like do a quick thing. And it's asking you how often do you normally spend this money? So we're gonna put down every day, for example, and then we'll calculate annual return on investment um, that you could earn if money were invested rather than spent. So in my video on compound interest, I did explain that on average, we can expect broad stock market, uh, earn about 10%, return about 10%, interest so that's what we're going to put down and then we're going to put down just for the sake of argument 25 years because you know let's say you know we're 30 years old or 40 years old we're going to work for another 25 years so we're going to go out and eat for that amount of time on a regular basis and then we hit calculate and we can see that the actual dollar amount that we would have spent on eating out is actually 182,000, which is a lot of money but of course 25 years is a long time too uh, the worst part is that what we actually missed out on in terms of the earnings so in that from the stock market so that's actually six hundred twenty four thousand dollars and the real cost which is combined cost is eight hundred and six thousand seven hundred fourteen dollars which is an astonishing number and so do calculate what your latte factor is. It could be a lot more modest than that, or it could be a lot worse, hopefully not. But you can still see that by substituting this habit for a much healthier habit, let's say instead of eating out, you bring something with you, you know, just pre-make lunch, or by, you know, instead of smoking, you don't do smoking, right? Instead of alcohol, you just forego alcohol, drink water. It's much healthier anyways. You will save and actually probably earn if you just invest that money by auto deductions and auto investments. You can earn hundreds of thousands of dollars. So instead of a ruined liver or, or some diabetes, you will actually get um, a ton of money, money in the bank, which is what we should all have, right? So do go ahead and calculate that and let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, let me know what your latte factor is. I talk about it all the time, so, um, but actually do this and let me know your thoughts and uh, comment below and um, like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys later.